Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust, talking about that Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, next generations, and everything in between. And today, we're talking about how to make scrap fishing right now in April of 2022 on both the testing branch and when this does hit main branch uh, soon enough. As we know, uh, PTB currently has fishing. Now, we do know that the fishing villages are also going to come in. So uh, you can fish now and make scrap, and it gets even better when there is a fishing village. So uh, just know it's, it's scrap across the board, especially for solos. So pay attention. All right, let's go over some of the basics first really quick. Uh, if you're on the PTB, or if this version does come up to main branch, uh, you do have the ability to craft a fishing rod. Fishing rod is crafted uh, using 200 wood. Oh, my goodness, where am I? 200 wood and uh, two rope. And you do not need a workbench to do so. Uh, after that, you will need bait. Anything that grows in the ground or out of the ground will typically get you, uh, that's food, will typically act as bait, one through three or four-ish. Uh, and a lot of times, um, yeah, you can kind of trade up. We'll go over some of the bait values here for a little bit. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, so to do some basic fishing, uh, you would go over here, and I know we're on PC, so I'll tell you how to do the regular controls. Uh, you're going to hold right trigger, and then you're going to click left trigger. And then you don't have to hold anything. And then you're basically just going to be working back uh, on the left thumb stick, back and over left and right. And then use your right thumb stick to keep the bobble or bobber on the viewport. And just pull it back enough, but when you hear tension, kind of let go. And make sure it doesn't swing off screen because a really good fish will not only create a lot of tension on the line, but they'll also. This one's actually pretty good. See what I mean? He's starting to go off to the side there. So I'm pulling back, and then when I hear a lot of tension. When I start to hear it, like, really stress, I let go. So I'm pulling back on, like, the left thumbstick here. And I'm um, still pulling back, still pulling back. And we should be able to pull him in. <gasps> Almost got it to break. Did you hear that? And then we pull it right back. There we go. Small trout. Boom. So that went from, uh, look at this, just regular grub bait, which is plus four bait. And now we have a small trout, which is now bait ten. And as you go up in bait, you have a better chance to get other things. Now... Um, typically, you're going to be using things like raw fish, which is a bait level 5. And that's one of the main reasons why we're showing you this, because you're going to gut a lot of fish to uh, turn it into more bait. But that's also how you get scrap right now. And we'll go over some more techniques. But let's go ahead and go through the list here. And we'll also show some fishing village values as well. Um, okay, so we have nine different types of fish. We have the anchovy. We have the sardine and the herring. That's on our first tier. We're calling it the blue tier, the plus three bait tier. You can see that right there. They are fished in everything, fresh and salt water. Uh, the next tier, the yellow tier, uh, there's two fish here, one for salt water, one for fresh. Uh, we have small trout. We have yellow perch. And again, uh, both plus 10, one's for salt water, the other one's for fresh. Uh, we also have uh, the red tier, which is the best tier uh, for gutting right now, as there is just fishing. But then when there's fishing villages, you're going to cash these in at the vending machine at the fishing village to get even more scrap, uh, more consistent scrap. Uh, right now we have fresh and salt water, plus 10 for salmon. The other one here is the catfish, plus 10 bait, also for fresh water. And we have the small shark, uh, plus 10 bait, uh, found only in deep sea water. I can confirm that. And this one is the only one we haven't seen on console edition, but I don't think I've gone deep enough for this one because it is a saltwater fish and it is in the deep ocean. Uh, this is the orange ruffy. Um, so the way this works, uh, you will gut these for loot. I, I, I'll probably just show you this right now. This makes probably makes more sense. Uh, so since we don't have the fishing village as of shooting this, but we will, um, one way, I guess you can still do this even when there is a fishing village, you gut these. So anything in level 10, I pretty much tell people either you sell these or you gut these. Uh, and again, if we don't have fishing villages, you just got them. So you would gut this. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. This bottom row here is our percentage chance for a gut. This is 20% chance for each of these. And then the top row represents a 100% chance for all of these and these values. And again, this is for the salmon. So the salmon, you have 100% chance for 16 bones, 18 raw fish, and 16 animal fat. And there's a 20% chance for scrap, blue card, cloth, uh, eight cloth, three bullets, and a road flare. Don't forget, you can cash this in at the bandit camp. And this is where you make your money for 40 scrap outright. Uh, these are good for weapons, and you can grind these up at the recycler, especially at the bandit camp, for metal fragments that are cooked and gunpowder that has been produced. Uh, very, very, very useful. Um, so you have a 20% chance to get a blue card, which is 40 scrap. And if you get a lot of these, it's a pretty good roll. 
Okay, so again, on the right tier, we're going to go over to catfish. Oh, uh, actually, back to salmon. Uh, this can be caught both in fresh and salt water. Uh, catfish, the next tier, 100% chance for 18 bones, 18 raw fish, and 18 animal fat. And it, same percentages, 20% chance for a scrap, 20 for red, uh, red key card, blue key card, 8 cloth, 3 bullets, and the flare. The flare is probably the most useful when you can, I mean, the only time I find it useful is when we can recycle it. And we have the small shark, which you get often, that is in the game. Uh, you can go over here, same idea, uh, 20 bones, 100% chance, uh, 20 raw fish, and 20 animal fat, and same percentages down here, 20% for each of these for Mr. Shark. Again, only found in deep salt water. You can't find these off the coast, I've tried. And the orange ruffy, same idea, 18 bones, 18 raw fish, 18 animal fat, and again, 20% chance for scrap, key card, cloth, bullets and road flare and uh, yeah really just only recycle that so here's the deal and i'm going to show you the values here to kind of future proof this uh once the fishing villages are in i'm going to use my admin powers you're going to come over here there's a vending machine out here and you can cash these in you'll see there's different values and we'll run through these real quick and i'll give you the per unit cost so we've got the small trout at the top the yellow perch uh small shark salmon small shark here's the salmon and then the orange ruffy and the catfish. So if you're going to do this one, you're basically getting, what, six scrap per, and you have to have five. Uh, the next one for the yellow perch is going to be 10 scrap per. And uh, was it sharks? Two sharks is going to be 45 apiece. And then the salmon is, what is that, 55 apiece? So you're looking at, um, oh, I'm sorry, e the individual cost for that one is going to be 27.5, so you can't split scrap in half. So it's 27 and a half scrap per. And then we've got the orange ruffy for 37 and a half. And then the last one, catfish, which is 32 and a half. Just know that uh, if you have access to this area, uh, coming over here and swapping this out is the better route to go. But sometimes if you're just working bandit camp and you're brand new on the server like a solo, sometimes just working it and gutting it is the way to go. And again, with the fishing village will come in the ability to purchase boats and they will spawn here, then you can take them back to your base. And if it's under a roof, you can keep them indefinitely until somebody breaks the roof or until the boat gets damaged enough that it despawns. Uh, but it won't lose health as long as it's indoors. And also you can buy things like scuba gear. Uh, you really don't need these. Uh, these are kind of high priced as uh, 80 and 50 scrap, but uh, the wetsuit is super OP. Okay, back to the fish. Deet, do, deet, do, deet. We'll do another sweep on these two at some other later date. Uh, okay, so going through the next piece here, uh, we've got, we're going to go down on the loot tier. I kind of, I, I, not kind of, I did label these in such a way, kind of cooler to hot. So these are things you typically would, well, always would gut to make just better bait. Because you can see all the bait values for these are three. And if you make raw fish, you can see the bait value is always five. So it always makes sense to just gut these. And the byproducts, as you saw for the other fish, are going to be bones, raw fish, and animal fat. And you're like, well, that's okay. Well, here's the thing. Uh, don't ever underestimate bones. Bone arrows are things I don't see people use enough. They are nasty. They do bleed damage. Um, it's It's got a bigger hitbox. It's fantastic. If you're using a crossbow, compound bow, or just a bow, it's your friend. Also, things that people overlook in the beginning, uh, the bone helmet and the bone armor all takes lots and lots of bones and cloth. So it is your friend. Um, another thing, well, actually, yeah, we'll go, yeah, we'll go through this. So we got two bones, 100% chance for two bones, one raw fish and animal fat. Um, for sardines, you've got bone, raw fish, and then five animal fat. And then for the herring, that's a beefier one where you have two fish, one bone, and one animal fat. So this is going to just convert your plus three bait to plus five bait. See what I mean? And you can also eat this. So on the note of food, I know it's not in our game. Whoops, it's not in our game yet. But farming 2.0 will be a thing for us, which basically comes down to we, and when you plant things on the ground and not a crop plot, you have a very low percentage chance of it growing, which means all of these corn crops and pumpkin patches are going to be a thing in the past, which means we're going to have food sources or need food sources for respawning, for combat. So food sources like fish are going to be very important, especially if you're growing your crops inside of your base. Um, when you respawn, you're going to have to eat and then sit down to recover your health. You can't just spam a bunch of pumpkins because we have them in the hundreds of hundreds because we can plant them outside. Well, guess what? That's going to change. So it's definitely going to be your best friend. Uh, okay, so just that just a little small blurb on that. So this next piece here, the yellow tier, is good for lots more food. But typically, if you're trying to catch some of these red tier more consistently, these are good for bait level 10. 
um, if you want to try to get the better stuff. But I have seen, just off of raw fish, many times I've caught sharks just off of uh, bait five if I'm in the right place, like deep sea water for small sharks. Uh, okay, so small trout as a sea fish, uh, plus 10. Uh, the 100% values are five bones, uh, what it says four raw fish, and eight animal fat. And for the freshwater fish is the yellow perch. You have six bones, five raw fish, and six animal fat. Now, a little word on this. So we have rivers. We have the bandit camp, which is considered fresh, even though it says salt. And out here is just regular seawater, that's salt water. Um, so here's the thing. If you're playing solo and you're trying to get scrap right away, you come into a server and you need something safe to move the needle, well, guess what? Go to the bandit camp. You're in the safe zone. You can fish there. You can um, you can recycle there. Like you can take these blue cards. Whoops! You can take these blue cards and cash them in immediately. You can grind these things up. You can hit barrels with your rock. You can go in there and then combine cloth and animal fat to make low grade. And so you can go out in the ocean if you want to, um, or just make your first furnaces. Where the heck is it? Or is it under resources? Here you go. So is that three uh, animal fat and one cloth? Like that's where you start to make it. You don't have to go hit anything. You can make a, s a really beefy food supply and it just keep going over and over again and then you're completely safe. You can body bag yourself and keep coming back. It's super OP. Or what I've done recently, which is like super effective, uh, because this is out in the ocean here, this, this iceberg, I went on the back side where nobody could really see me. I put a sleeping bag, a box, and a campfire. I have a wetsuit on and so I'm not taking like cold or wet damage and I just fished out here and I'm making tons of money. I'm getting sharks left and right um, and I'm just turning my back and I'm just casting out. I light the fire so I can see in the middle of the night and I'm just taking these other fish, upgrading them and just casting out and making a ton of money doing it. Getting blue cards, getting bullets. Uh, it's a really great way to do it, right? And just get started. You're out of the way. I know a lot of people get started as solos. They're like, man, the server's bumping so much. What do I do? Uh, Fishing is a great way to do it. It complements uh, building your starter base. It also complements you getting on a boat and just scrapping on the water just getting junk piles. Let's not forget that. I mean, junk piles are always, here we go, I'll fly out here. They're always OP and they're super low key. And if you've got scuba equipment and you're worried about somebody running up on you, dive in the water. If you're deep enough, people cannot shoot you. And if you have a leg up on them, well, guess what? They, they it can only use melee, so they can't shoot you. So what are they gonna do, catch you? No, they can't. Uh, so it's the best way to run away with your loot and it's gonna get it even better. When Fishing Village is coming, it is gonna bring in the kayak and the paddle, which means these are things you can carry with you and deploy in the water. So not only do you, y if you can't afford a boat, you can just make a kayak and then just get out there. You can fish directly from the kayak and also a boat. Uh, it's super OP. It's something that's very overlooked, um, but it's really effective. Uh, even right now, I mean, we're already doing it even before the Fishing Village has come in and we're making mad scrap doing it. And we're set up with, uh, I mean, shoot, I was able to make my two furnaces, which in turn made my metal doors based off of all of the was it animal fat and cloth that I got from this particular setup. So there you go. That's how to make scrap right now, uh, both with fishing and make it even better when the fishing village does come in. So if you found this useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like. It does help out a lot. If you're into it, uh, both guides, news, and both live streams, consider dropping that subscribe and click in that notification bell to on as we do main over on the console version often. And we're always live streaming it. So uh, yeah, uh, drop that, uh, that sub. Click that notification bell and we'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.